Hello and welcome to the beginning of learning the EMDK with Zebra's Dev Bytes. In these short videos, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Zebra's Enterprise Mobility Development Kit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the EMDK for Android Studio plugin, as this gives us the EMDK to use inside our project, and then how to include this EMDK in our project so we can get started writing applications using Zebra devices. Firstly, follow the EMDK for Android download link in the description below and it will take you to this web page. Download the most up-to-date version for your operating system, and once you've run it, just go through the installation process. Now that you've installed that, we can include the EMDK inside our project. What I've got here is just a fresh Android Studio project, and I'll show you what I would do to include the EMDK inside my project. Firstly, we need to make sure that we've included our EMDK permission and library reference inside the manifest. So just go to the manifest and I'm just going to paste in the permission here and also you need to include the library reference which would go inside the application tag of the manifest. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out Zebra's developer portal for all of your developer needs. I should be able to change my compiled SDK version to the EMDK APIs. Once I've done this I'm just going to wait for it to build. Doing it this way is the official Zebra recommended way for including the EMDK inside your projects. Now that it's built, let's see if I can include the EMDK, and as you can see, I can. Thank you for watching this video, and be sure to check out Zebra's Tech Docs for any more of your enterprise development needs.